Greetings, traveler. I hear that you want to learn how to layer Renaissance fair outfits. I know a gal. <laughs> Anyways, you guys requested that I do a video on how to layer Renaissance outfits, um, and so I'm here to provide said video. This video is just for how I would style things. You don't have to style it the same way. Um, this is just one way to style it. There's like a bajillion and there are literally no rules there are some goals <laughs> of how you should dress for a renaissance fair and even if you're just putting together a fantasy outfit there are really no rules so you just do whatever makes you happy use whatever colors use whatever fabric use whatever clothes like it doesn't matter you can make it masculine feminine whatever you want it's all up to you this is just how i would do it and i've gotten a lot of questions about it so we're gonna we're gonna do a little kidsy video on how to do this outfit. In order to show you how to do this, we are going to have to send you over to Past Live. Past Live, are you there? Anyways, take it away, Past Live. Thanks, Future Live. Or. Present? Anyways. Thanks, Future Liv. Let's get started. First things first is your base layer. Typically, I go for like anything. Well, let me just show you. Typically, I like to go for a flowy top, but you do not have to do a flowy top. You can do whatever you want, really. There's no real rules to this. This is just how I do it. And I think it looks nice. So you grab a top with a billowy sleeve, flowy, whatever, you know, nothing that is too constricting because we're gonna tighten everything up later with our tightening devices. Like I said in my thrift guide, you can find just about a bajillion of these at Goodwill or any thrift store. You would not believe how many people give away their billowy shirts. Like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Anyways, thank them for giving away their billowy shirts so us little Ren fairies can enjoy them. Yeah, so a billowy sleeve. I'm starting with a white base because I just think it's flattering on me, but you can do whatever colors you want, okay? There's no rules at Ren fairs. I mean, there's some rules, but you know, whatever. So I'm gonna start with this one. And then a nice flowy skirt. You do not have to do a skirt. You can do pants, um, but I do recommend that you wear something on your bottom or else you will get kicked out of right there. I don't know that by experience, but I do know that's a fact. <laughs> Warning, failure to wear something on your bottom at the rent fair will result in you being kicked out and not being able to drink meat all day. Okay, bye. Anyways, I'm gonna do this white skirt. Yeah, I like to have a lot of billow. If you guys follow me, then you know everything has to be flowy, except for uh, yeah. I just think it's flattering. So you do your base layer, and I'm going to make magic happen and change for the last. So ready, set, ta-da! Okay, so here's my base layer, nice, flowy, and. So matchy matchy. This shirt is from Amazon, it's great. The only thing is that it's not very long, so sometimes I have trouble powering up this little strip of belly, but you know, whatever, it'll do the trick. I mean, look at that billow and the cinch, gorgeous. Okay, second thing is going to be a second skirt layer. Like I said, you don't have to do this. This is just what I like to do, but you don't have to do this. It can be any color. I'm gonna do brown because you'll see why in a minute. It's all gonna match. But I do brown, okay? So do your second layer is a skirt. If you're doing pants, obviously, you don't need a second layer of pants. <laughs> okay, so second layer is on. And at first it's gonna feel a little floopy and weird, but we're gonna fix that, so don't you worry. Third thing is going to be some sort of cinching device. If you don't want that, you don't have to have that either. This is just what I do because I, I like to make everything look really uniform and nice and accentuate my waist, but you don't have to do that. Also, what I'm gonna add next really just adds so much to this outfit. This is my mushroom, I don't know if it's a stay or a corset. Someone please tell me because I keep calling these corsets, but I don't know if they're corsets or if they're stays. I could really just look it up, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, so, I got my mushroom stay. Look how freaking cute. Oh, I will never stop talking about this. This is from Costarero Real. I will tag them. Amazing company, makes amazing stuff, such good quality. 
but obviously you can see where we're going with this outfit. I am matching it to this. Um, I think corsets are a really fun way to add a little pizzazz to your outfit. And cinch everything up and really just flatter the heck out of you. So I'm gonna put this one on. It's gonna take me a second because I took all the little stringies out. Speed. I am speed. Don't ask me how to properly lace these up because I'm almost a thousand percent certain I have not been lacing these up properly, but hey, it works. Next up is spelts. I think belts are important for every single person in their Ren Faire outfit because it holds all your doodads and your trinkets and your stuffs. And also they just look nice and they're cheap and you can go to Goodwill and find belts for like a dollar and it just adds so much. And if you're not into the whole corset thing, belts are a great way to accentuate your waist or really just like pull in a billowy shirt or skirt or pants or whatever. So if you don't A, have the money for corsets because corsets are expensive or just don't want to wear one, belts are a really, really great idea. Um, I'm going to do just a brown belt, okay? Next piece is the things that you hang on your little belt. I got this little pouchy from Goodwill. It's in the section where like if you're shopping around, sometimes they're up on those top little crates where they have all the wallets and stuff and you just have to look for one with a little doohickey like this. Or you could probably sew your own on there, it'd be really easy. And then you just hook it to your belt. And then boom, this is literally a wallet that is attaches to my Renfair belt, which I absolutely love because then I can carry all my monies and stuff and not be worried about losing it. Because the first Renfair I went to, I put all my money in this here sack. It's just, it's just not very secure, okay? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it doesn't feel very secure. And typically I'd throw up my little ale drinking mug right here, which, okay, I'll do it. Ta-da! Super cute, handcrafted by someone, a vendor at the North Carolina Renaissance Fair. Walter Aberoon? I don't know, it's signed. But anyways, really, really nice. I love having this at the fair. Um, because then I just go and I'm like, hey, can you fill up this? And then you just have your own cup all day and it's nice and you don't waste plastic. <sighs> anyways, attach your little mug. Like, this outfit is coming together so fast. We've got our doohickeys. Yeah, I'm ready to dance and it's not going anywhere. The second belt, which you don't have to do a second belt, you can do this all in one belt, but I like to do two belts. So, we got another little one. This was like literally 60 cents at Goodwill. Then we got the skirt hike. If you're wearing pants, you probably don't need a skirt hike, but I like to add a skirt hike so that I can hike up the first layer of our skirt so you can see the bottom layer, which is really nice. I have a um, short form video about how to make these. They are super easy. This cost me literally like $3. <laughs> put that, put your little skirt hike on, and fasten the doohickey, okay? And then just adjust it so it's comfortable. And I like to go from like the middle, pinch it, pull it, pull it through the top, My skirt hike is too small, so. Okay, see, coming together. I wish I had two so that I could go, you know, like this. Uh -oh. So if you have two, that's great. If not, you can also just do the tuck method and tuck this baby in, or you can do the safety pin method where, take the safety pins. Push through, up, hide it with your belt, and boom, skirt hike. So now, she's cinched up, we got our accessories on the side. The next portion is just where I start to layer things because that's the fun part. We've already layered quite a bit, but you just accessorize and add whatever makes you happy. One of my favorite hacks is just grabbing sail fabric or fabric you find at Goodwill and just tucking it into places. Like, I just think it it adds so much cuteness. I'm gonna do the tuck method with this or you could safety pin. Honestly, if you're going to a fair, I would safety pin, but for right now, I'm not going to a fair. 
You just do the little tucky. Now you got a little accent color, which I think looks really nice. And then obviously all the accessories here. Obviously you gotta go for a good elf ear because I really wanna invest in some like really nice ones because I wear my elf ears like crazy and these are just little $5 ones from Amazon. But they do the job, they really do. They stay on pretty good and like I've worn these to multiple run fairs and they do not fall off. All right, do the Lord of the Rings hair method. All right, whatever, it's not that serious. You just add your little trinkety trinkets. I made these earrings. I might show you guys how to do them if you're interested, but little mushroom earrings. Ah! Little necklace. My well, outfit is complete without a hobbity watch, so hobbity watch we do. And obviously you can do whatever accessories you want. These are just what I'm doing. If it, if it sparks some ideas in you, great. Remember, there's a lot of options like you could go any direction with this this is just your standard tavern wench layering okay and then another little hack which I am going to utilize in this video give me your essence okay. grab a little pin I got this one from Amazon look at you okay and then you're gonna grab any piece of fabric preferably something kind of big it doesn't have to be but kind of big. Just pin it into place. Okay, and that's pretty much it. It is very easy to piece these outfits together. Now I really look like I'm about to go frolic through the Shire. guys that is all for the layering video if you have specific questions just let me know in the comments i'm happy to answer them i have a lot of videos on different kinds of outfits like pirates and different kind of elves and assassins and fairies and just all the things that you can think of i have a lot of short form videos of that but if you want the long form content you just let me know but yeah this one's a little hobbity wenchy vibes you're you're very classic Renfair outfit. I would also say that within this outfit you can definitely add weapons. Um, but I'm not going to end this video. But just for censor censorship purposes. And um, the next part of the outfit is to grab a cat and bring him to the Renaissance Fair and make him a little mushroom head. Anyways guys, I'm moving on to the next thing. I had you guys vote on a few things. One was what video to do next, and you guys voted on layering, so that's why we're here. The other one was on Instagram. I asked you guys which cosplay I should do next. It was between Aloy, Arwen, and Yennefer, and you guys picked Arwen. I'm really excited about I did think you guys were gonna pick Aloy though, because I'm rocking the red hair right now, so I thought that would make a lot of sense, but whatever. I'll probably just do that one next. That's fine because that one is like really complicated, so that's fine. But anyways, that's our next big project that we're gonna be working on is making the Arwen chase dress. I'm really excited about this. I do think it is gonna be the hardest thing I've ever made. And I, as you guys know, I'm not an expert sewer, so it will be a challenge, but it's fun because it makes my brain work and it makes me happy. And I do think I get to finally use this air dry foam clay for cosplay. I've had this forever and I have not been able to use it for anything and I think I'll be able to use it for some of the pieces that go into this and we'll see if it works. It was $5. So yeah, we've got plans for that. If anybody has already done this cosplay, you please let me know about your trials and tribulations because that would be much helpful. Anyways guys, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I will be posting episodes weekly, so if you haven't already, give me a subscribe. And I would love you forever and ever and ever. And uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Okay, see you, bye!